All right, welcome to another road trip. That's right, this is the iconic road trip. Taking four iconic, historic, scenic highways across the nation. Beginning on Route 30, which, or Route 30, depends on where you're from, which is the Lincoln Highway. So that's the beginning of this trip. Not even sure how to describe it. Not, not even sure how to tell you details of what we're going to be doing. All I can tell you is follow along. Follow along on Facebook, Instagram, on this YouTube channel. We're going to see a whole bunch of things. 95% of the stuff I'm going to take you to I've never been to before. So, should be interesting. Love to give you a name for this trip, but I don't really. I don't care. We'll call it the Americana Tour for now. Maybe I'll come up with a cooler name later. So welcome to the trip. Right now I'm standing in front of the world's largest teapot. That's right, the world's largest teapot. If you don't believe me here on the side of it, it will tell you the world's largest teapot. It's really cool about this stop. This is the first destination on this trip is because this is actually a spot that my great aunt actually helped save this. This is not the original location of it, but they were going to destroy this thing and she went around, got signatures, talked to people, and was able to get this teapot saved. So there's a little bit of history in Chester, West Virginia. So we're getting ready to get on Route 30 and head on down the highway. And thank you again for coming along. Thank you for following this channel. I appreciate all your comments, all your subscribers all your following yes can't do it yeah can't do the channel without obviously i can't do the channel without you or i would be watching it by myself so again thank you very much all right thought this was pretty cool well, on route 30 i'm in minerva i hope i pronounced it right if i pronounce it wrong i do apologize but in ohio it's the dairy here americans america's oldest family owned creamer got the pretty cool Of course, if you have America's oldest family-owned creamery, you would also have this. Yep. Makes perfect sense to me. As I said, this is what I love about these road trips. You never know what you might see. Right, I'm not even sure exactly what to say about this. I put a glance out my window of my vehicle and saw the downtown area and this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go and show you some things here. Give you a little bit of a view of the town. Lots of businesses here, lots of old buildings. Love the road absolutely love this i am and a lot of unique shops here things i would not have expected to see but i mean this is like this is your this is your great small town all right those of you know me you know that this nothing against amish country um wonderful people everything i'm just not one of the areas i usually go to but I saw I wasn't that far from Lehman's, so I thought we'd go in there and take a look around. Maybe show you a few thing, items inside. Probably right, just to give you an idea, fun for adults kids hit people of all ages really i'm just walking through i'm trying not to record too much in the building i've got some pictures taken maybe i'll post a couple of those maybe not but this just gives you an idea of what all they have there and this is the toy section kids absolutely love it as an adult i absolutely love it so just uh if you have the time, this if you're if you can't find something, this store has it. 
And if you aren't looking for anything, you at least can, just, you know, take a break, grab something to eat, go to the restroom, look around, and just enjoy looking at items that you may not have seen or you may not have seen for quite a few years. All right, is it just me? Surely I'm not the only one that wants to climb the ladder and see how far down I can slide. Huh. Of course, the sign down there tells me I'm not allowed to do it. All right, I'm gonna try something different here. I've never heard of this restaurant here. I'm in Lima, Ohio. You can see that through the sun there. It's called Happy Days. It has a big eat sign on top, so let's see what happens. All right, there you go. There's the dining area. <clears throat> Skip them eating. Food's okay. Not great, not bad, just okay. Well, it's a nice experience, something different. So now on to the next stop. All right, here we are in downtown Van Wert, Ohio. Just right along the Lincoln Highway. Staying here tonight. Thought I'd give you a video and show you some what wells downtown. Go over here, we have a nice little park. We'll walk down here and take a look. Good morning, welcome to day two of the road trip. Yep, day two, I'm in Columbia City, Indiana. First time in 25 years I've been in the state of Indiana. State number three on this trip. Pretty cool little town it looks like. So I'm gonna walk around, see why I was here. Yeah, get a few pictures, get a few videos. And we'll see. All right, this is a continuation on day two. Day two of the journey. Just finished up showing you downtown Columbia City. Now we're at the park here, beautiful park. Just had a nice and nice relaxing, pretty cool out here right, right now, considering all the weather we've been having lately. Like it when we I find things, things like this. Again, it's nice to be back in Indiana. Well, it sounds like a song. Oh, never mind. If you watch the Indy 500 or know anything about Indiana, you know it really is a song. Yeah. Jim Davis used to sing it at the Indy 500. So it's pretty, you know, it's pretty cool to be back here. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And we're going to go into our next part of, the, of my trip, wherever that might lead. Going to go through parts of Indiana today on, yes, on day two. And to get myself set up for day three. Excited about this. This is, this is a trip I've, I've wanted to take for years. So thank you for coming along. Uh, don't really have anything else to say about that. I just will leave it at that. Thank you for coming along and we will see what we can get into next. All right, got realized just a few minutes ago, I did not do a day one wrap up. And we're already into day two. Had a, had a blast yesterday. Got to go back to some things I've seen before. Got to see some things I've never seen before. Got to see a couple towns. It was absolutely great. Overall, not too bad a first day. Uh, anxious to get started with this. Well, why well, is now this day? But it should be saying if the video was recorded, what it's supposed to be recorded the next day. But yeah. Okay, now I'm confused. I need to take. A time machine go back and redo the end of yesterday yeah that would work because time machines are all around okay well that was a rabbit trail all right as we wrap up day one and day two of this journey adventure americana tour whatever we're calling it route 30 was it was pretty cool like to see a few more things it was kind of um Route 30 is a lot of bypasses now of towns, which is which is a shame. I really wanted to go through more towns. But I got to see some things. Uh, I'm glad you came along with me. I'm going to start day three. And 
this is really day three is really by where my adventure began. So looking forward to showing you this next segment of the um, of the trip. So thank you for coming along. Again, hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and do all the other wonderful things. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. So let's get started on the next segment.